You wouldn't know it from looking at the crowd in your local pub or bar, but the global brewers are struggling to grow. If AB InBev or Carlsberg or Heineken manages to grow its volumes in Europe or the United States by a percent or two in a given year, that is considered a smashing success. So what are they to do? One option is to get bigger still, but there's only so many mergers a company can do, and indeed there is only room for a few more big deals in the brewing industry. Which brings us to the second option, which is to go small. And we saw this path taken by SAB Miller today when they announced they would be buying the Meantime Brewing Company of London. Of course, a local company like Meantime will not make a large immediate impact on volumes at SAB Miller. In fact, Meantime's output will add to SAB Miller's by about a 50th of a percent at first. But the idea is to take a local brand and put it into a global distribution and manufacturing network and grow its volumes quickly. SAB Miller, in fact, has done this trick before with its US Blue Moon brand. Here's the hard question, though. When is a craft brew not a craft brew? Increasingly, consumers identify themselves with the things that they consume. And while I might be very happy to be identified with the Meantime Brewing Company, I'm less certain I want to be identified with a gigantic multinational corporation. So that is the challenge for SAB Miller and its big peers. How to add brands to its portfolio that have distinct local flavor and appeal without alienating the very customers they are trying to recruit. Rob Armstrong, The Financial Times, London.